little three by three watercolor journals um, were made just using a pamphlet stitch. And so what I do when I have leftover paint on my brush, I decide to fill them up with all kinds of just circles, squares, little rectangles, whatever I feel like painting with my leftover paint. Thought maybe make some trees, who knows. But I, I do this so I can carry them with me and just doodle. Or whenever I'm stuck and I don't know what to do, draw or paint, I can use these little books, just plain little books, to add some doodles in. I'm not sure I like that, but who knows. Just doodles. Just something to warm me up when I'm stuck. That's pretty much what I use these for. So I'm going to start sharing some doodle with me videos in my little journals um, on my YouTube channel. And I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. So you might see me paint some prep some pages or some of the videos are just going to be a little short doodles. Like I've already filmed this one creating this little page. But just fun ways to warm up, create, not waste the paint on your brush. Sometimes when you have do watercolor you end up with a lot of paint on your brush. At least I do. And so I started off just with cleaning my brush on different pages. I don't have that one here. Um, just as a way of not wasting paint. And that's what I like to do, not waste anything. And so I have a bunch of these little books that I made. I'm not worrying that they're not cut perfect or they're just scraps of watercolor paper, mixed media paper that I had and I didn't want to waste. From making my square journals that I use every day. These are the journals that I use every day for my daily pages. And so that's what I just, as I said, I just didn't want to waste them. And so these are my little mini doodle journals, warm up journals, whatever you want to call them. Don't waste the paint journals. Yeah. So I will be making some videos, as I said, and posting them and showing you how I use my little just doodle with me.